all right guys so welcome back to another brand new video i hope you guys are all doing well today bitcoin right now is still holding strong you guys already know of course i want to give you guys an update what is happening with bitcoin right now so you guys clearly see bitcoin is still holding strong at this 27k level right so bitcoin is still holding strong at twenty seven thousand dollars. always amazing to see um, and you know the entire crypto market today right now is still not really moving okay just like what we saw yesterday right the market wasn't really moving but yes for the past you know few days for the past week so far bitcoin and of course you know other altcoins in the market are in fact moving yes can we see that right but today you know for the past 24 hours just like yesterday we haven't really seen much movements okay so everything is still you know holding strong um you know still looking pretty good right everything's still holding strong the global crypto market cap still holding at you know one trillion of course and overall the market today is still you know up 0.63 percent but not much movement at all now if we move on to the fingreed index you just clearly see it's now in neutral right so it seems like a lot of people out there you know investors are in fact feeling neutral now instead of you know fear right we have in fact been seeing the thing read index in fear mode for quite some time now yesterday i was in fear last week i was on fear even last month it was in fact in fear mode as well but today for the first time it's now in neutral so that's great to see i guess now there is in fact a fair few charts that of course i do in fact want to show you guys okay for today's video and there is in fact some news in the crypto space some small ones that i want to cover as well for today's video now let's start with the bitcoin chart of course i really want to read through this so shout out to mags for posting this on twitter but pretty much he says here okay don't mess up the second chance right meaning don't mess up the second chance of buying bitcoin now if you guys have in fact been watching my videos i've been mentioning this many times that if you guys are wondering when is the perfect time to buy bitcoin it's right now okay it is right now we are still in the buy zone okay if you look at the bitcoin chart it's still nowhere near back up to its previous all-time highs not even halfway there yet right so if you really think about it we're still in bear conditions right even altcoins altcoins right now are not looking too good which means it's still a great buy altcoins right now are literally dirt cheap compared to where they were last bull market back in 2021 of course to where they are now they are literally dirt cheap right you guys know that right um, i've been mentioning this many times same with bitcoin bitcoin right now is a bargain and right now is the perfect time to buy as much bitcoin as you possibly can i've been mentioning this many times throughout my videos so he says here uh before the bull market begins bitcoin often offers a second buying opportunity which is pretty much right now right this is we are in fact in the second bottom uh, you guys clearly see we have a first bottom and a second bottom and i'll talk more about that um he also says here during this time the price uh the price uh tends to go through a correction mode on lower time frames looking back at, looking back at historical cycles we've consistently found the second buy has been a promising entry point before the bull market begins however prices during the second buy has never fallen below the price of the first buying so no 12k this time right so for all the people out there that are in fact saying that we're going to see bitcoin go back down to like 12k think again right because that's not going to happen okay i've been telling us that many times i don't even think we're going to see bitcoin go back below like below twenty thousand dollars right because it seems like a lot of people think bitcoin can do that it could but very unlikely to happen right so be wise guys right so i you know, I totally agree with Max here on what he's saying with Bitcoin right now is obviously the perfect time to buy Bitcoin. And talking about the first bottom and second bottom, you guys clearly see throughout Bitcoin history, right? Let's just look back at 2015. So we had the first bottom and a second bottom, and then we had a bull run. And then, of course, Bitcoin dropped again. So again, we had the first bottom and second bottom back in 2019, and then we had the bull run in 2021 right our most previous bull run and then of course it dropped again and this is where we are right now so of course we have the first bottom okay and now we are in fact currently in the second bottom that means we're going to be having another bull run very very soon so you guys clearly see there's a very very clear pattern here okay throughout bitcoin history we will always see a first bottom a second bottom and then a bull run right and i told you guys many times we don't see bitcoin go back down to its previous 
bottom once again, right? So once again, we're not going to see Bitcoin go back down to 15K, which was in fact its first bottom back in November last year, right? That was in fact Bitcoin's bottom during this bear market. And a lot of people were in fact saying, you know, we're going to see Bitcoin drop below, you know, 15K once again, and of course go back down to maybe even 12K, but no. That has never had happened in Bitcoin history, and it's not going to happen this time. I've been telling us that many, many times. Okay, it's all pretty much going to be ups from here, guys. Okay, clearly Bitcoin is forming a new pattern up to the upside. So I think we're going to see Bitcoin continue, okay, to maybe consolidate at this level where it is right now, or maybe even at 30K, and it's going to continue up to the upside, right? I've been telling us that many, many times. It's going to continue to pump up, right? And of course, the next bull run is happening. We know the halving, very, very important, right? A very, very important uh, day. <clears throat> when the Bitcoin halving event happens, obviously that's when, you know, Bitcoin really does start to pump and tend to pump the most, right? Every single time, right? So that's that, guys. It's looking pretty good for Bitcoin right now. So I understand a bull run is, in fact, about to happen for Bitcoin. So be prepared for that. So yes, like I said, it's all up from here. Bitcoin still... Uh, maintains the path to a new all-time high and of course we're easily going to see bitcoin reach a new all-time high so patience is key here it may seem like bitcoin right now is sort of boring which most of you guys may think it is and i you know i get it right bitcoin really hasn't been moving you know your favorite old coins in general you know the crypto market hasn't really been moving but understand guys right now is crucial right you've got to be really patient right now do not panic do not panic sell Okay, ignore the FUD and the prices, how the market is moving, what Bitcoin is doing, right? Um, just ignore it and just continue to huddle and buy more. Okay, continue to huddle and buy more, right? DCA. We all should be at least dollar cost averaging right now into Bitcoin. So that's that, guys. It's all up from here, okay? Now, rich dad, poor dad, of course, Robert Kiyosaki, we know how bullish he is with Bitcoin. And he says here, America is broke. Bitcoin is a bargain. That is very, very true. Okay, very, very true. Now, this is what I really wanted to talk about for today's video. Okay, and I'm telling us this right now. This will set Bitcoin to a new all-time high. It will set Bitcoin to at least 100K by the year sometime in 2024. That's just my personal prediction. I really do see Bitcoin at least pumping to at least $100,000 by the year 2024, sometime in 2024, most likely towards the end of the year in 2024, okay? That's just my personal opinion, right? So maybe October, November, or December, we will in fact see a 100, 100K Bitcoin in the year 2024. Now, <clears throat> you guys can clearly see, I've talked about this a fair few times, all these uh, institutions okay that are in fact filing for bitcoin etfs and just you know accumulating into bitcoin soon enough they will accumulate bitcoin and i reckon they are secretly accumulating and buying into bitcoin like for example blackrock the biggest inter institution out of all these other ones right and these are the big guys you can clearly see they have a t they don't have b's they have t's so trillions of dollars not billions we're not we're not talking about billions here we are talking trillions of dollars in assets right so just think about it we have the big guys of course blackrock vanguard fidelity state street i never heard of them but they're in there we have morgan stanley jp morgan right and many many more yes clearly see that so all these big institutions with trillions of dollars of assets if they just put a portion of you know the assets just a portion just a little piece of it into bitcoin it's going to change everything right because bitcoin will pump you guys clearly see right now uh the market cap uh for bitcoin is around over 500 billion right so if you really think about it, if all these institutions the big guys right the big guys okay all these institutions you know soon to accumulate bitcoin just imagine how much bitcoin will pump and this is what i've been telling you guys many times you know in the next bull market it's going to be so different compared to you know the other bull markets that we have, in fact, been seeing throughout Bitcoin history. This one's going to be completely different. You know, trillions of dollars will be poured into Bitcoin. So imagine, you can just literally imagine how much Bitcoin is going to pump. So because of this, with this institutional adoption, we will potentially see Bitcoin easily reaching up to at least 100K, reaching a new all-time high. 
and I really do believe we're going to see a 100k Bitcoin by the year 2024. So, you know, maybe, you know, like I said, towards the end of that year in 2024, we will in fact potentially see a 100k Bitcoin. I think that is very, very possible. So be excited for that, guys. We're going to easily see Bitcoin reach at least 100k and it's going to not stop there. It's going to keep rising up. OK, because we know 2024 and of course the year 2025. OK, remember this. 2025 is going to be a massive year for Bitcoin and crypto. Everything's going to pump. And it's not just the crypto market. Every other market is going to pump, right? Everything's going to pump in the year 2025, guys, potentially. So be excited for that. Some amazing news. And it's just crazy how people don't understand and see where Bitcoin is actually heading in the future. It's actually crazy to me, right? Just think about it. Trillions of dollars will be poured into Bitcoin because of these big institutions that could potentially accumulate into Bitcoin. And there are obviously, you know, filing for Bitcoin ETFs. And once one gets approved by the SEC, if and when, right, then the rest will get approved. And that's when everything's just going to change forever for Bitcoin and crypto, right? So that's that. Be excited for that for all my Bitcoin holders out there, okay? Because it's looking pretty good. Now, in other news, apparently SEC warns more charges against crypto and DeFi exchanges are coming. What can the SEC do next? Who are they going to target next? We know recently they target Coinbase and Binance. It's not looking too good, right? They have no charges against them. And we know the SEC have been, you know, naming a fair few uh, old coin securities when they're really not. Okay, so I don't know who the SEC is going to charge next, but apparently they are investigating, I guess, or something like that, right? So that's that. Who knows what they're going to do? Now, speaking about the SEC, I found this pretty funny. Brad Garlinghouse says here on his Twitter, he tweeted this out, and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, has to take a picture in front of the SEC Gov building while in town. Uh, in case you're wondering, no chair, uh, Gensler did not invite us in. And I thought this was, you know, pretty funny. Right, since recently we know Ripple, okay, we know Brad Garlinghouse is the CEO of Ripple. So we know a couple of months back, okay, Ripple won, okay, the lawsuit against the SEC. Okay, we know that. That was a couple of months ago. And it's just funny how Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, is literally just standing right in front of the SEC Gov building. And he just took a photo. You know what I mean? I thought it was pretty funny. But yeah, that's that, guys. But that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. That is everything that I really wanted to talk about uh, for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys. What are you seeing potential for Bitcoin in the next upcoming few months? Let me know. I'd love to know. But potentially, you know, if Bitcoin does, in fact, have a drawback down, okay, another retest back down to the downside, then it is what it is, right? Maybe back down to like 25K or lower. It could happen, okay? But for Bitcoin to go back down below 20K, I don't think that's happened. It's just very, very unlikely to happen. Just my personal opinion, right? So I think it's all ups from here, but that's that, guys. But understand, in the next upcoming few years, of course, 2024 and of course, 2025, Bitcoin will pump because of this. All these massive institutions with trillions of dollars in assets, okay, you know, potentially accumulating Bitcoin, and I do believe BlackRock is one of them, okay, it's going to change everything for Bitcoin. It's going to pump Bitcoin to 100K easily. So understand that, guys. So it's looking pretty good for Bitcoin, right? The future for Bitcoin is looking pretty good, I must say. It's looking pretty bright. So that's that, guys. But guys, let me know in the comments below. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys agree with me or not? Let me know. Be 100 with me. But I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.